Welcome back. What three baits should you be using in the month of August? Before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe button. Also, comment below and tell me that you sub because I'd like to say hello and at least say welcome to the family. Because once you enter this family, there's no getting out. It's a thing of honor. And when you're here, you're family. But right now, August, three baits you should use. Here we go. So we made it through July, amazingly. But August is not much better, better in terms of the weather. It's still hot. It's hot here. It's hot up north. But right now, August is one of the toughest months to catch fish. But if you use the right baits and know what you're looking for and what to target and the areas, you're going to catch them. So summertime is winding down, but the water is still exceptionally warm. It's the end of summer. We're going to still want to fish deeper areas if you're up north. Structure, your brass flats, your, your grass mats, your uh, docks, all those things that will, will hold fish. They're going to... They're going to stand underneath them and just wait to ambush that prey. This is a good month that you can start increasing the size or the presence of the bait that you're using. To be quite honest, I was going to put a Ned rig on here because I think a Ned rig right now is perfect to use. I also think a glide bait is perfect to use right now too. These bass are, are know that a transition is about to happen, so they want to fatten up and get ready for what's about to happen, this cooler weather. And, and this is important to take advantage of. So bigger present baits are what we're gonna kind of go into today, or baits that I think are, have a little bit bigger presence. So in August, I think you should get out and fish early. I also think you should get out and fish the evening. The low light, early morning and evening is perfect time to catch them. Also, I think Targeting shaded areas is crucial now too. The water's gonna get, is still just so warm that if they can find one or two differences, degree differences in the water because of shade, that is a great place for a bass to hide and to ambush those bait fish. You have to remember, as we start to transition into the fall, the days are getting a little bit shorter. And knowing that, knowing our barometer and those things, Will help you catch more fish. Here we go. Number one, I really like the HD Tackle HD Tackle Hog Monster Ribbon Worm. Now, I know what you're saying. There's tons of them out there. I agree with you. I want a giant worm right now. I want a worm that in that has great action. I want a worm that isn't expensive too. I think you get 10 of these, I don't even know, for probably four or five bucks. They're not that expensive. I want the action of the tail right now. You can use it as like a speed worm. You can use it with a, a Texas rig and bounce it off the bottom. But this bait has such exceptional action in the tail that that ribbon tail is what I want to use. I think that's what you should be using too. Uh, another one. If you haven't seen the Hyperlastics Worm Spin, not the biggest bait, but what I like about this is that little spinner on the back. Now I can use this as a topwater bait, I can use it as a bottom bouncing bait, but pretty much what I'm using it as is a middle column worm that just you cast and just reel it in at a, a moderate pace and that that blade in the back just makes bass go crazy. So that's my number one. A, not really a stick worm, but a worm that has a lot of action. My number two bait, which you're gonna see two different versions, is a whopper plopper. Now, 95, 99, I say 95 all the time. A majority of the time, I use the smaller Whopper Plopper or the Berkeley Chapo. Uh, anytime, majority of the time, this is what I'm throwing. I'm throwing the smaller one. In August, 
I want the bigger one with bigger hooks. I want the beast. I throw, I think the bigger one, there's a few things. The bigger one makes a little bit different noise. I think the bass will target the bigger one a little bit more often right now in August. And here's why. They're, they are looking for bigger baits to eat. They're looking for bigger fish to eat. Like I said earlier, that transition is about to happen. When that transition does happen, they get lethargic. So they're going to eat as much as possible. So a bigger style choppo or whopper plopper is gold. Quite honestly, that big giant, I only think it's like 110 version or whatever it is. I even... I would even suggest throwing that right now. That's a bigger bait. Now remember, if you if you don't know a lot about whopper ploppers, there's really two ways of, of using it. You can cast it and just retrieve it in. It'll make that chugging train noise, that kind of stuff. Or you can cast it and rip it. Just let it go and stop. Now the bigger baits are going to sound different than the smaller baits. So if you find yourself not getting bites, you probably need to downsize one. Start off bigger and go to smaller because that sound is what's going to trigger those bites. That sound and that bubble trail and that commotion on top of the water. So remember, if you're going to use the bigger one, it's going to sound different than that smaller one. So just go down the line. But they're great baits here in August. Great baits. In fact, that bait should have probably been used, be used in July because it's that good. And last, because really I'm looking at my notes, I think a spy bait is gonna be good. I've got the big worm, the whopper plopper, the underspin, the Ned rig. But right now, get a jig. Get a swim jig. Uh, this is the, the Engage Water Bowl. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. If you have a lot of structure, a lot of cover, all that stuff, this is gonna bounce through it. This is. I mean, Patrick designed this so that it went through all cover. Same with the Thunderhawk Grunt. They're getting a lot of love in this one. The Grunt's another great bait, very inexpensive, comes through cover very well, and, you know, has a stout hook. That's really important. And last, I think another swim jig that you can use, if you like to use that, get this to the bottom and let the fish smell it, is that Berkeley swim jig that has the scent infused, the max scent, infused into the trailer, and that's pretty cool. All three of these are, are meant to get through cover because that's what you're gonna fish these in. If you're fishing offshore, get these baits into the thickest crap you can find. Let them go through the grass, let them go through the structure, and those bass are sitting on the bottom of that structure. So get it in that thick stuff and make sure that it can come out. One of the great things about these, these engage and these lures, if you feel yourself getting snagged, don't set the hook. Shake the rod, shake it, and that, that weed guard will do its work and then pull it through. You won't lose as many jigs either. And those jigs are, are not really expensive. I think the Berkeley jig might be five or six bucks. I think the Thunderhawk Grunt might be four or five dollars and I think the engage one might be eight or nine bucks but great baits to use in the month of August so lastly on the swim jig if you really want to take it to another level get one of those really soft plastics as a trailer something like the Elaztec goat from Z-Man those baits are very soft they're very buoyant too so you put that bait on a swim jig and it'll sink to the the seafloor slower than most because it's so buoyant and it has a lot of air in it it will tend to make the fall of the jig slow down now that's very important very important because if it goes down so fast they don't just don't see it so if you use something that makes the fall rate slow down you're gonna find yourself getting more bites they'll bite it on the the fall they don't use, they will bite it on the the bounce up but a majority of the time bass will eat it on the fall so that is an extra tip that I probably shouldn't be telling everybody about so thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button comment below and tell me what three baits you use in August I'd love to know again remember take a kid fishing get your fish on
good luck fishing in August. Seriously, I hope you catch some studs. We'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe. Take your um kids fishing. Pfft. <laughs>